Let's go down this rabbit hole for a second. Who do you want Tennessee to play on an annual basis? Who has to be there? Who are the, if they go a pod system, Caleb, explain that to me a little bit. If they go a pod system, you would play the three other teams in your pod every year, correct? Correct. And then what happens? So a pod system is you play the three teams in your pod every year. And then you rotate the other pods, for in, for lack of a better term. So you could play the three in your pods, and then you would play one other four. Then you would play another all the teams in another pod when you're all four teams. So that would make up seven conference games. And then you'd probably have like two. My guess is you probably have like two other games that you play. Um, I don't know how they would schedule that to make it nine games. Um, and there would be no – it wouldn't be division. So it would just be the two teams with the best record at the end of the season play for the SEC championship. I still maintain that's a horrible way to go because you were going to have – there's going to be such gaps in scheduling. There's going to be such differences in strength of schedule. You know, what if Tennessee's in a – I know Tennessee fans will like this, but what if Tennessee's in a pod with Vanderbilt, Kentucky, and South Carolina? And I know you think South Carolina is going to fall off under Shane Beamer. And Tennessee gets to play – Vanderbilt, Kentucky, and South Carolina. And then say they draw a pod with like, I don't know. It's like Arkansas, Missouri, Texas, Texas A&M, something like that. And every school is down. And Tennessee just gets the luckiest draw possible. And you might end up with like two, like Tennessee and Texas from those two schools are the top two teams in the SEC that year. And both got to avoid playing Alabama, Georgia, Florida, LSU. That's the way it would work. That's a terrible way. I am very, 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 and I, I think that's the way it's going, unfortunately. I'm more insistent on divisions. Well, let's play the pod game for a second. Okay. okay. Because pod game is four teams. That means you've got three other teams. So who are the three teams? And I want to hear this from everybody on the message board. Who are the three teams that you would want Tennessee to play on an annual basis? So that's what we're going to ask you today. And I'm going to say the three teams. Now, I don't have to prepare for these teams. I don't have to go get knocked around by Georgia's defense. I like content, okay? So my three teams would be Alabama because I'm not getting rid of that rivalry. I think it's gold. I think it's what college football is all about. It would be Georgia from a recruiting practical standpoint. I think you want your exposure there. And there's a lot of history with that rivalry, too. And the other one would be Florida. Again, I know I sound like the old curmudgeon, but I know that was a huge monster rivalry in the 90s and early 2000s. So I don't want Florida to go away. John and uh, Travis both say Vandy, Kentucky, and South Carolina. So they want the easy route. So I get that. But don't complain to me when Tennessee's waxing those teams 40 to 10 and you're bored like when they played North Texas. So I get that. But also from an entertainment standpoint, who do you want to see? So, Caleb, who would be your three teams that you would want in Tennessee's pod if they do go pod style? So I like to do a little bit of democracy, which is to say every team has some entertainment and some challenge, but every team has it a little easy. So it's fair. So I think the best for Tennessee is Alabama. Auburn and Vanderbilt um, as much as I love the Georgia and Florida rivalries and I'm with you I think they're great rivalries um, I think that you can, Tennessee having to play Alabama and Georgia every year do you know how brutal that is relative to what the rest of the pods are going to be for everybody else um, well but Alabama is not going to be tougher for much longer because eventually Nick Saban's going to hang it up I think Alabama I, I see I disagree only because I think Alabama they went 10 and 2 when they were on probation and had Mike Shula as head coach. I think Alabama is one of those programs just below Georgia, Ohio State, and LSU where you don't need a lot of, yeah, you may not be Nick Saban level, but you don't really need a bright coach to be a top 10 program in Alabama. I would have argued that 20 years ago because their in state recruiting base wasn't great. But as Birmingham has grown and Alabama has grown in population, and Nick Saban has had success. The kids are incredibly loyal, kind of like I've referenced the Louisiana kids to LSU. So I think you're right now. I would have argued that 20 years ago that Alabama has to primarily recruit out of state. They do recruit out of state, but they don't necessarily have to like they used to. But, yeah, I mean, 
Travis says maybe it should be randomly picked. I think it has to be somewhat regional if you do the, the pod system. Um, the other option that, that I'm very open to, and you and I have discussed this, would be moving Alabama and Auburn to the east, Vanderbilt and Missouri to the west. No, just Missouri. Just Missouri. Just Missouri to the west. Okay, yes. gotcha. So then you would have Texas and Oklahoma? In the west. In the west. Okay, so we do, do we have an even number of teams there? Yeah, so you would have Texas, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, Arkansas, Missouri, LSU, Ole Miss, and Mississippi State all in the west. Okay. And then, and then on the east, you would have Tennessee, Alabama, Auburn, Vanderbilt, Kentucky, Georgia, South Carolina, and Florida in the east. You pretty much protect every sacred SEC rivalry. There, every single sacred SEC, and for the record, every single sacred Southwest and Big 12 rivalry with Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and all of that, they are all in their own divisions now. So the only, the only longstanding rivalry that would, you would get rid of at that point would be Mississippi State and Alabama. And like I said, nobody cares if that rivalry is gone. Nobody cares if you get rid of that rivalry. Here are the, here are the four rivalries that matter. It's number one, Tennessee, Alabama. It's Georgia, Auburn. The ones you want to keep as permanent rivals. Those, those are the two. And the third would be Texas, Oklahoma, which is right up there with them. If, if you've ever been in that country, that's monstrous. And the one that I think's overlooked a little bit is the LSU Ole Miss rivalry. I'm not saying it's of the same ilk, but I think that's significant. The one that I think's cool is Florida and LSU just because there's so much talent on the field, kind of like I used to like Florida and Florida State or Miami and Florida State. But that, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there. It's not one I would go out of my way to save. The three I would go out of my way to save, Tennessee, Alabama, uh, Georgia, Auburn, and Texas, Oklahoma. Those are the three that I'm going to save some way, somehow. See, Dave, if you do it our way, I guarantee you, if I were to expand that to the 10 rivalries you want to, to, to save, you could save them all with my way. Because right below those three, I think – You'd want to save Alabama Auburn too. Um, you'd want to save. I shouldn't have left that out. You're right. Yeah, you'd want to save Ole Miss Mississippi State. The Egg Bowl is just so much fun to watch. Um, Florida Georgia is, I think, a pretty good rivalry now, and all of these rivalries would be saved. And Texas and Texas A&M too. None of these rivalries would ever go away if you do it my way. And I think a future rivalry that's a natural rivalry that I think is a great, great, great. It's young, but I think it's got a great future. It's Arkansas Missouri. I mean, that's a great little border war over there on the west side. And all of these rivalries are protected if you do this route that I'm talking about. They should boot Missouri and bring in Notre Dame. Just my thoughts. I don't like anything about Missouri. Uh, Elias says, why do I have a sneaking suspicion that this whole deal is going to be a 20-year kick in the teeth for OU fans? I do, too. I think Texas will be just fine with their in-state recruiting base. But now Oklahoma – is going to try to uh, compete against the SEC, and they haven't had uh, m- much success at all doing that. John says Kentucky-Tennessee is still a rivalry, too. I, John, I agree, but somebody's going to have to go. That stays. That's rivalry would stay if we do the division things I'm proposing. You would still have that rivalry, and you would have Tennessee-Vanderbilt, and you would have Vanderbilt-Kentucky. I get it. I get it, but I don't know that they're going to go your way. I think they're going to do the pod system. I may be wrong. And then – the other one that, um, you know, if, if I were to make an adjustment, I would boot Vanderbilt. But then you get into the tradition of Vanderbilt. That was a rivalry back in the day. People that are uh, my age and even younger tend to forget that. 